Imran Tahir has um, just come back into Test cricket. He um, is often seen as an attacking bowler by, by Hashim. Uh, maybe use him in short spells. Um, and Dean Elgar has taken four wickets in the first innings. Um, but I agree, it's quite a good question. I would have probably loved to see him bowl a bit more longer today. But look, it's been a, a quick day for South Africa in the field. Tomorrow we've got another day. Um, but I, I agree, I would have probably seen him bowl a bit more longer spells. Maybe that happens tomorrow. India has done really well. Ticking the, 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 the singles around is very difficult for a spinner when you bowl three good balls, batsman gets one, trying to get some pressure. So the good signs is I've seen Imi um, now in the, in the last few overs, a few balls turned and bounce. Um, it's just finding the right pace as well on this wicket. I think um, what the Indian guys have done really well is they've been re very consistent. So a lot of dot balls in between, and then you get one to turn and bounce. So there wasn't really a lot of easy ones around. Um, so maybe that's a message to, to try and do tomorrow, is just try a bit more consistent. Uh, and then the odd one can, the wicket will come into play. I think the advantage India's got, they've got Jaja batting at seven, Ashwin batting at eight. So these guys are good batsmen as well. They've shown in the past. So for us, you know, we're not, we're not really, um, JP's been a big knock for us being injured, batting at number six guy who can bowl. Um, it will be tough to, to play three spinners, specialist spinners, um, if, you, if Dumini wasn't playing. So it's just looking at the balance with the team as well um, and try and find the right balance. In the past, we've see, I haven't seen one Indian spinner not being successful, successful at home and I've seen a lot of spinners in the past come here and, and they, they found it difficult. Not, not only the pace they bowl or maybe the tactics, but also the pressure. You know, it's big pressure on a spinner when you see somebody else taking wickets and turning. Now you feel, I've got to go and do it, and that creates pressure. So it's managing that, and then also just try and keep them positive and remind them what they did on day four, day five back home when the ball actually spun. It's back to the basics, really. You know, we look at the revolutions in the ball, we look at the pressure, the field placings, and try and keep a spinner calm and really get him to enjoy his bowling and bowl a long spell. Look at a guy like Jajaja today, it, from the side, you'll think when you watch, every ball spun past the bat, but it didn't. But he bowled so many dot balls, he bowled, bowled a long spell. And if, you, if you're capable of bowling long spells, one or two's got to jump and, and turn. And that's what he's done well. It wasn't easy getting off strike. So I'll come back to that. In, at, at, in test cricket, if you find it easy to get off strike, it's very easy to manipulate spin. It's very difficult for a spinner to create pressure and get that one to turn and bounce. If you find a way of bowling dot ball, dot ball after dot ball, something's going to happen. Well, we've lost quite a bit of wickets now, only on day two already, and we've seen a lot of wickets fall. Um, I, it's going to be difficult. Um, look, the question will always be, why didn't our spinners spin more than theirs? I think they, the batsmen played really well. I think the wickets going to be very tough. Uh, it's not going to get easier. Um, I'm, I wasn't surprised when I saw the wicket. Um, I think it's good tactics by India preparing a wicket like that. Um, but it's not going to get easier. We need wickets tomorrow. I mean, they are 148 already. We need wickets early um, to try and create some pressure. Anything above 200, I believe, will be challenging. But saying that, I've seen this team do some special things. And with our batting lineup, I won't, go on, I won't go at ease if I'm India because there's a lot of time left in this game. And we don't know what can happen with this game. Anything can happen. So the good thing is there's a lot of time left. But obviously, you don't want to go past 300, then it's really difficult. And the, the bigger the score, the more longer you can carry catches around. So it's going to be interesting.